how did you end up on benefits? Um, well, it didn't just happen. Um, there were a series of events and I was a teacher for a long time and unfortunately um, my partner had a breakdown. He'd been in the army and it was quite a serious one. He was sectioned and um, we left the village that we were in and returned back to London. And my children had PTSD. Um, my youngest was very ill. She's had health problems. So, you know, on the, on the face of it, it does look like I just walked out of my job. But, mm. you know, there were serious reasons behind that. So, I mean, the number four features quite heavily. Four, four bedroom house, four children, four different fathers. Um, and, uh, and you say that you, um, the, the, the the thing with you is you feel unapologetic in the fact that you've been led in, in down this path. Absolutely. Um, there is a real stigma with benefits. There really is. But I think, you know, everybody is closer to being at rock bottom than they possibly think unless they've got a lot of savings or rich parents and you know I am proud to say that I'm on benefits because I think that's we're the thing though yeah. isn't it that's the thing that I think people at home might struggle to come to terms with because when you say you you hit rock bottom and you've talked about the gifts that your children got at Christmas or whatever to a lot of people out there who are struggling to make ends meet at Christmas or you know can't afford to buy those their children those kind of gifts and that perhaps are working they might feel well hang on a minute that's not rock bottom well we did I mean I, I did pay a lot in tax I've always had a very high income so I do feel that I paid my way I don't intend to stay on benefits um, and you're it, looking for another job I've actually been headhunted for mm -hmm. a sales position mm. um, which if it fits around the children <clears throat> I will take that but um, when I say I'm proud I'm proud to live in a country where we do have a benefit system mm. my children and I may have been split up you know, it, desperate things could have happened. And I used to be the person who would look down on people on benefits. I was that person who would be snooty. And now I see the world in a completely different way. And I, I'm proud to say that we do have the NHS. We do have the benefit system. How have people viewed you then? If you used to look down, have they looked down upon you? Gosh, yes. We've had... Um, quite a lot of internet bullying, um, I've had bullying to my face, my children have had bullying. You know, it, it has been difficult. When I first moved, I didn't tell anybody I was on benefits. I'm a writer, so I just use the self-employed. But then when I came out, there was a backlash. People I'd known for years sort of moved away. And I'm thinking, well, you know, why is it like that, the stigma? Because my children have got different fathers as well. That seems to be a real issue. But if I was a man, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're very spaced apart. Um, I, in every relationship I went in thinking I was going to get married and mm -hmm. things happened, you know, and I couldn't have predicted the last relationship. And you've got so four fantastic children. They're, they're wonderful. How, however, however, and this is the rub, the mm -hmm. thing is that everything you're very eloquent um, and everything you've said... I think a lot of people will understand, you mm. know, there's no need to be apologetic, that's why benefits are there. You could have saved some of that money for the future education of your children or, or, or something that was a little bit worthwhile. Uh, some would see perhaps the husky puppies as a, they're going to get very big and very expensive and all that sort of mm. stuff. That money could have been spent elsewhere, but they're lovely family pets. Of course you're entitled to do all of that. What you said, and I quite frankly got my back up, was that you got your £10 Christmas bonus, which I'm not sure a lot of people on, on benefits actually realise they can actually have their £10 Christmas bonus. With that £10 Christmas bonus, you bought two bottles of Prosecco. You are entitled, of course, to, to, to do that. Then you said, so cheers to the taxpayer for my extra £10 gift. And that is incendiary. Mm. Well, it is. It was a gift and I spent it on Prosecco. Now... Yeah, I don't but drink it fact, very often. It's not the fact you yep. bought the Prosecco, it's mm. the fact that you went, cheers, thank I you am for grateful. buying this for me. I am grateful that I but got But do you not that think prosecco? that that's a little bit incendiary? So say, put yourself back into the yeah. you that is taxpayer. I and... would have been angry with yeah, that. But so what, but so, so now you're in the other position, on the other side. 
I mean, being a single mum, Philip, you know, my children are very, very spread out. I don't have parents or grandparents. I How work old are your very kids? hard. Three, 10, 14, mm. and 19. Mm -hmm. um, by day, I'm a mum. When my children go to bed, I'm a writer. I've got books coming out. I work very, very hard. Mm. So I don't get a chance to go out and go to the pub. And I don't drink Prosecco very often because it's got adverse effects. But I wanted to actually celebrate. Well, it it may, maybe makes you say stuff that you shouldn't say. Maybe, yes. But I did. I enjoyed it and I'm grateful for that. But that's mm. not the way it sounds. It doesn't mm. sound like that. It's not, thank you so much, I'm grateful for, for what I have. It's cheers and there you go. Look what I've just bought with your money. I had had a glass of Prosecco at the time. So. When you said it. Do you yeah. wish you hadn't said it? Um... Well, we can't go back in time, can we? But, I, you know, I stick by it. I am proud to have been caught by the benefits system. Mm. And as soon as I go back to work, I think if anybody else is in the situation that we're in, you know, yes, we can live a little. Not a lot, but we can live a little. If you enjoyed that, there's more of the same right here. And make sure you subscribe so that you never miss the best moments from this morning.